just follow the instructions in the description. And, well, it's pretty simple. Create an account on Skypoker, deposit £10, email us, get a free hoodie, get £10 free on Skypoker, and get some other cool bonuses and tournament tickets alongside it as well. Um, I'm now going to launch into the video where I'm actually going to go and play a sit and go over on Sky just so you can see the games. But that is the rules to get a free hoodie. We'll send it straight to your door. And uh, yeah, that's all you have to do. So get on that now. I'll then play a game. And then I'll tell you about this again at the end. And you can be one of the guys who gets the hoodie. I think we've got about 20 of these available. So uh, make sure you get in quick before they all go. Okay guys, so here is the game, and it's definitely one I'd recommend if you're going to sign up, deposit £10, get £10 free, get a hoodie or whatever. Um, it's called a Double Your Money, and it's a turbo. You buy it for £3.30, and if you come first, second, or third um, out of the six, then you're going to double your money and get £6. Obviously the 30 piece for the rake. What can you do? But yeah, all you have to do is outlast three opponents, come in the top three, and double your money. Like you can see here, six in, turbo, price pool of 18 quid. Six pounds for the top three, blinds up every two minutes. Let's do this. Let's try and uh, double our money. Gonna check the queen seven here and flop absolutely nothing. Um, starting off kind of tight, but you know, really remembering that this is a turbo and we've got to kind of collect some chips for the queen seven, of course. Nothing we can, should, or want to do other than just check and hope to hit a pair and when we don't, we can fold. Um, not that weak at all. Jack's massive hand here. Is this going to be the shortest video ever? Maybe that's a good thing. It makes it quicker if you go ahead and create your account and get that free hoodie. Okay, we've seen a raise from JDXX1. Or XXI, XXL, I'm not too sure. And a couple of flats. Well, guys, I think we're going to pump this up and I think we're going to make it 300 to go. Obviously, we don't want everyone to call because Jack, so oh, no. Is this going to happen? Is he going to go call, call, call? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, we didn't want these guys right. Low flop, low flop. Ah, there's one over card. There's one over card. It's one of those kind of weird spots. Do we jam or do we just check call it off? I think we go for the check call. I don't think we can fold, guys. Stack to pot ratio, one over card, flush draw out. I think we're just going to try and induce a bet here and go with it. We could also just leave jam. Let me know what you would do in the comments. Ronzi's thinking about it. Okay, if everyone checks, we don't want to see a queen or an ace. Okay, it's a deuce. We're going to go all in now. We assume we've got the best hand. We assume all the kings bet. Don't have pocket deuces. That would break my heart. If th if this guy folds, this is the softest, like, best game ever that we've got away with this huge pot with jacks. It's the run good. God, that we doubled. We just doubled up. Three people called 300 pre-flop. God, this game is easy. And now this guy's sat out. What a laugh. Remember as well, get that free Sky Poker hoodie. Create an account from the link below. Deposit 10. Send us that email. And that's how you're going to claim it. Everyone's away. What's going on? This is great. This is absolutely great. Okay. We've been <laughs> what is going on? We've been 3-bet to 90. I think we just call in position and just play a flop. It's nice when they just put us in these easy spots in position, ace, jack, min, race. Oh, and now we just overbet jams the uh, queen, seven, three, uh, space fade, uh, brick flop. Fine. Okay, cool. I think I might, I could move myself around. Wow. Didn't know I could do that. Yeah, I think, I think this is a gold mine, right? I, maybe, I, I don't actually know too much about double your monies, but I could probably fold now? I guess? I mean, I guess it's close, but I could probably just play super tight and just nut pedal and, you know, hope they all just kind of bust each other and then I take out the short stack and get in the top three, right? I'm pretty sure I don't need to risk chips with marginal decisions, um, or at least lots of chips with marginal decisions. So I think that's the plan we, uh, the plan we take, the, the, the make, the move we make. God, I can't speak. It's Christmas kind of time. I'm full of cheese and beer. Okay, he takes it down on the 7-8 deuce. And yeah, I think we're just going to play super tight. And I think this falls into that. I mean, I guess we could even just open jam here? Like, 17 bigs effect. I mean, 8-20 is the largest stack behind, but these two guys only have, like, 13 bigs. <sighs> I'm kind of just free-rolling now, I feel, against these stack sizes. You know, if we open, we get a call. 7s again, you know, just like the jacks, they're quite susceptible to uh, lots of overcards coming. 
we take it down. Blinds up to 40, 80. These guys all have like 8 to 10 bigs, and then obviously Grant Suds is just chilling. He's just like, well, I've got a, off to a winning start. I might just let these guys go at it. If we don't win this, and I'm saying it's like the easiest money and easiest tournament ever, then I'm going to look quite the fool. But with this hat on, you know, maybe you already do. I don't get where these people are. They're all like timing out. They're away. They're sitting in. They're sitting out. Like, what is going on, guys? Why are you not concentrating? We see a limp now, which probably not ideal when you've only got 10 bigs. It should probably be like all in, folding, maybe min raising. Maybe if you've got aces, limping's fine. Maybe aces is the exception. Doubt he does have aces though once he checks the flop and we see another ace on the turn. It's hard to, uh, hard to get aces there. A6 suited. Again, I think I'm just probably going to peel this and just play it quite slow and soft. I could also fold, I guess, but I think that'd be a bit too weak getting the price and with a suited ace here. Top three get the money, remember, and it's not stacked. It's top three get the same. They just get six pounds, six pounds, six pounds. Double their money, double their money, double their money. We're not folding. Power off. We said about not wanting to take risks, but nut flush draws... For a guy who uh, doesn't have that many chips, it's fine. Wow. It's all gone wrong, guys. It's all gone wrong. Was that a bad move? I'm really unsure. I have a little flush draw. He doesn't have that many chips. He has like seven big lines. I think we have to go for it. Okay, we're going to call here, get a good price. Okay, this could be interesting. If I come sixth, then I might give you, you, know, you guys some more money. I think I've got to fall here anyway. I mean, my kick is pretty bad. He led into three people. We just fold. But, oh no. We, we might come sixth. Is that really going to happen? We're going to fold here, though. Are we going to fold here? Maybe this is a ship versus his stack. Nah, I think one Grant Suds calls. Pretty close, actually. 440 in there. I think we just fold. Don't really want to call, so it kind of becomes like a jam or a fold. I think a jam might be okay. Again, leave your comments. And by the way, this is not a training video. This is the first double your money I've ever played. This is just a giveaway that we're doing for the hoodies. I thought I'd just hop in on quite a fun looking game. Um, see a check here by JDXX. Maybe a small pair or maybe a trap. Okay, he calls. See the queen on the turn. He checks again. Interesting play. Gets jammed on. Gets a call. Oh, <laughs> Queen 5 lost his goddamn mind. I don't get why Grants has done that. I don't get why he's done that at all, guys. Limp here by Ronzi. What's going to make a very easy jam? Mm, Grants now shoves. I think I might reshove here. I think I'm going to be ahead of Grants' range. Um, I want Ronzi to fold. Damn. So yeah, kind of got it right versus Grant Suds. So oh! No, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Okay, so we're now on the bubble. And I'm the chip leader. And Bluff Chick's in a bit of trouble. I mean, I call this, of course. But it does put me in a very bad spot if I lose. So yeah, that last time, I mean, got super lucky and poor Ronzi. But what can you say? What can you say? He, uh... He trapped me, but against Grant, at least I got it in with the idea of it being good. Bronzy's been set out a lot, might be a misclick limp, might just be limping trying to see a plot with a hand like King Queen, if he calls it off with a hand like King Queen, I'm ahead. Um, so definitely don't regret that play. Bluffing Chick is being put to the test here ish. I mean, pretty, pretty much. Oh, he just flats. <laughs> what do you just flat with there? Why are you guys not just getting it in? It's in now! Oh no, what have you done, Dan? You're supposed to... Dan. You're supposed to knock them out with ha decent hands. Not just be like, yeah, let's put it all in with 10 jack and, you know, you idiot. I think we go for a min-raise here. I think we try and put them under a bit of pressure. This is the Stone Cold Bubble. People might be folding a bit more frequently. And yeah, we pick up a lot of chips there. Remember, we are the chip leader, but we still need to collect chips, you know? I think I might try it again here. Ace-9, cut-off, bubble... Let's do it. I won't call an all-in, though, even though I'll be getting an okay-ish price. I just don't think he's going to be jamming wider than Ace-9. We want folds. This is this is glorious. 
We just picked up like what, 600 odd chips? Something like that. No, not that many, right? 152, 25, 450 chips. I'll take it. Okay, I'm out of the way. I'm out of the way. This is the bubble. If one of these guys knocks each other out, that is pretty much game over. We, can't, we want Dan Soph to win because he has 25 more chips, but if he doesn't, then he's only down to 25 chips and hopefully we'll bust out in a couple of hands. Lots of checking here, guys. Is this ace high, ace high? Ooh. 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 Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 150 too much for Dan. I don't think Dan's played that great. If it falls around to me, I will put him in all in. Want him to fall. It is the bubble. Oh. 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 Hey! There we go, we won. So that is pretty sick. We just won six pounds in not many minutes. So okay, let's uh, pull up Neil again to get a free Sky Poker hoodie. Click the link in the description, create an account, email the email address in the description. And you're gonna get a free Sky Poker hoodie. You're also gonna get ten pounds free on Sky Poker plus a ton of other bonuses. And tournament tickets, I'm pretty sure, are in there. So loads of cool stuff. Um, this is an offer just for you guys. It lasts a few days. Like I say, we don't have any more than 20. I think maybe the actual number is like 12 or 13 hoodies available to give out for this promo. So be quick, get involved, and uh, yeah, maybe pay some of these double your monies because that was kind of like free money. It's kind of like I just went, oh, well, here's £3.30, and someone went, here's £6. And I was like, well, okay, thanks. But yeah, good luck, and uh, get involved.